trapped in that. Ah, oh, my nuts are dropping. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? This one turning in here? Fuck. Anyway, basically just gotta line these all up pretty well. That would be perfect, obviously, but you know, try to get it nice and close-ish. Tie these up as far as you can with your hands. Hand tight's good enough, typically. Don't have to be super, super, super tight or anything like that. You know, this is the better. In some circumstances, not this. I did glue these, but I guess they didn't really glue too well. Maybe I'll use epoxy or something stronger next time. I like to move a bit. <clears throat> all right, once it's all tightened down, like that, you can see it's pretty, pretty even along that all. In the end, it's not, but like I said, this one better. Turn it this way so the flush side is facing this way, put the diodes on the ground, and just gently, but firmly, kind of fold it completely over like that. And there you go. And then I typically will just take like scissors, and we'll cut along the entire length of this. It makes it really easy to get them all individual. that obviously. I'm gonna do the same for this side. Just push them up against just to be pretty sure they're good. These might fall out in between the, the, the bolts a little bit but obviously it's not a huge problem. Individual, you can go back and loosen up all the screws. Use pliers if you need to, if they're kind of tight on there. You're gonna have to loosen this up all the way. You can just you know, leave the nuts on the, the screws, no problem. And turn it, maybe shake a little bit, loosen up a bit, even gently just kind of pull it apart. And bam! There's a shit ton of perfectly bent, pre cut, ready to trim, ready to, start, I guess, ready to solder and trim up diodes for you. And uh, yeah, you can use this thing over and over and over. And um, well, the last thing is you can change this middle piece for something thinner. Say if you have closer together footprints or you know further apart ones. This piece right here I have is like I think quarter inch works pretty well for uh, for the G80s. But for the contours, I'll need something thinner. But I'll figure that when I come to it. Yeah, there you go. Nice little diode bender. <laughs>